Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jeremy Cork, Mike's another episode of Random Crossing. Let's go to City and Lost City Folk. Obviously, we have no mail of importance. But hey, we're playing at 4 pm on a Monday. Um, I did delay this uh, yesterday for that uh, five year anniversary video. Hopefully, none of you were too annoyed by that. But, you know, we've made some decent progress in game as of late. So, the offline goal right now is to try and get our public works projects done. And they're, they're coming along quite nicely. And, you know, I I'm thinking this episode, we just go around and talk some villagers. And then stuff that we normally do, you know, like finding fossils, selling stuff, you know, we, we do that a little bit later and we kind of change up the little schedule, see how we're doing. And, you know, we'll see how Rowan's doing. Um, it Interesting house, to say the least. A lot of this... Um, I always say this, whenever a house normally looks like this, it means that, like, you've given them an item. Like, when they asked for it, you sold it them. How are you doing, Rowan? What's up, Mango? Been a while. I can't believe I've seen you every day, but I, I even miss you bugging me sometimes, Mango. It's kind of long to pump out lots of kills, even though it's gonna burn. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's still, still loving this game. I know I keep saying, and it kind of can come across quite forced at times to some people, but now I still genuinely love this game. The soundtrack still bops, especially 4pm. Um... You know, I'm kind of waiting on, um, more polite parcels, and, oh, let's see, I'll, I'll get into it once I finish chatting. Oh, dear boy. Hey, it's been a while, right? Yes, I know. Be out and about, like, the one time a week I play. Because <laughs> it's just hard to set up this up to record, so I might as well record whatever I am going to play. Um, and how are you doing, Frobit? What's up, Frobit? Been a while. I can be about seeing you every day, but I, uh... Yeah, I should probably talk to my villagers more. But um, as I was saying, I'm waiting on some parcels to arrive, and uh, I've ordered from like, the same tracking company before, from around the same place. So I I'm just thought, you know, hey, I'll record while I kind of wait for a shipping update. Because um, typically it takes like two hours to go from like to the next update where like I can actually start tracking it in real time. And hey, fossil early on. Yeah, so I just, just want to like start tracking it in real time, and I'm doing this to kind of put my mind off it, you know. I typically record like once I'm kind of out of motivation to watch YouTube and play other games, it's uh... I wouldn't say it's an afterthought some days, but it's just kind of like, it's kind of how I roll. Uh, you know, it gives me something to do. And then like, once I come back, I'm like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll consider what I was doing. Anyway, money rock time, let's go. Ah, that's right, this, this episode's gonna, it feel, this feels pretty good, you know. Five years on YouTube and how many of them have been spent playing Animal Crossing? Like, over three. Uh, how are we doing though? Tammy, I thought it was Shari. Um, they're a different colour. Whoa, oh my god, what's the sun appearance? You got one of those magicians that appears in the poofy colour of smoke or whatever. And that long time no see, we haven't seen each other in forever, so that's like how we should greet each other. Yes, it is. <laughs> I found the fossil early on though. Pretty nice. Um, I just want to go chat with all my villagers, because I did see a new one move in. It's like an eagle variant. That's <laughs> it. Eh. It's, it's always been weird. It's, I started off by feeling kind of like not. Oh, that's a nice house. Yeah, I started the day off by like not feeling too great at like two and four in the morning. Like I slept and my body was like round two, baby. Hell yeah. And oh, I was hoping it would make a noise when I interacted with it. Oh, it does. Oh, that's a town tune. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but I started off feeling like kind of ill at two and four a.m. in the morning. But you know, and I'm back now. I'm ready to record some stuff. Okay, this is probably the best house I've seen so far though. And then, what are you gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you came to see my house, that makes me all happy, Doxer D. For some reason, girls just have a way better time when no guys are around. Get the you girls together, and it's like, woo, this one maxed out the thermometer. Especially here. Like, Gigi and Tammy are totally crazy. You're a guy that, you might look, they might not be that funny to you. Right, okay, I'll, I'll leave. Sexist. Hit that, I'm trying to find, think, because I saw on the, like, title screen, a new villager. And I'm trying to figure out where they were. Um, they were outside the house still on the title screen, so if anything, that kind of gives me like. And I again, I'm not sure if the title screen is 100% accurate representation, but I like to think like the maps loaded from very early on when you load the game, so and yeah, it just doesn't make sense to load the whole map and then like unload it. You might as well just you know load it in one go for the title screen. I mean, hey, if they are doing that, then it loads surprisingly quickly. And come on, let me have that. Yeah, I have to say though, I was plugging in my uh, HDMI cable to record this uh, a couple minutes ago. Um, I have to say, um, it's almost like second nature that I know I to plug it on the Wii U. Because I don't have like a... Because I haven't shown like that part of my desk on the internet like at all, just because like it's hard to wrangle my camera around there. But um, yeah, we'll see what's in Able Sisters. I, I just haven't shown it, but um, my, my Wii U's back is to the wall, and it's kind of hard to like move it around. So uh, 
plugging it in's always been like kind of a challenge. I know what orientation it's gotta be, but like finding exactly where it goes in can be kinda of hard. But like it just went straight in today. It's like because I've been playing it more frequently, I've just got the hang of it more. Anyway, that is a that looks like a really scuffed Mario t-shirt. Like that is so horrifically stretched. What were you thinking? If I had money I would buy that. Welcome, it's Monday, so here's to another week. Here is to another week. What great words of wisdom. Ah, so there's dust everywhere in my room and I just dusted. Like it went in the air and then came straight back down. Like I even sprayed the thing that you meant to spray whenever you dust. To like annihilate the dust off the face of the planet and yet here we are. <laughs> okay, who is living here? Gigi's house. Okay, I don't remember them. Like I probably remember the look, but I, ca I can't like associate looks there. Uh, like the villager ones, I really like them. And oh, it's you. Oh, you're feeling sick. Okay, well, that gives me something to do. Oh, my forehead is so hot. I may be done for. I haven't felt this terrible since it slips a gallon of green tea. Oh, alright. Very ironic that I was talking about feeling ill early this morning. Um, like, seriously, I just stared at a wall for 30 minutes until I felt better. Pretty cool. And, uh, well, because I feel pity for Gigi, I will, uh. Hey, there, there you are. I'm just gonna check down here. Any other villagers? But because I feel pity, I will, like, put some of the money I earn today into getting some medicine for them, and uh, I'll try and get that done before the end of the episode. Uh, how are we doing, Mr. Avery? Hey you, you aren't terrified of me? Well, good, I go by Avery. I'm going to this little town to make a fresh start, Screehold. It's all pretty new to me, so I'm not used to folks just coming up and talking to me all friendly-like. But yeah, I'm supposed to make complaints and all that good stuff, Screehold. Yeah. Also, um, because this is a, like... Because I recorded a series with a catch card, might as well say it. Um, I figured out what was like making our recordings desync so much, because uh, basically I would leave Chrome open in the background and it'd mow through my RAM like in no tomorrow. I realized if I have everything shut besides like Discord and maybe Steam open in the background, um, my desync problems were a lot like less obvious. Uh, how are you doing, Pudge? Let's get a decent angle of us actually speaking. Is that you, Dr. D? Now that I think about it, it has been a while since we talked. I'm so busy loafing that I completely forgot. Hmm. I try and like, whenever I know that they're gonna like say they miss me, I just like, you know, do a quick little interaction leave and then next time we can actually have a decent convo. But, first things first, um, I see a withered flower. Second of all, I hear notice board, what's going on? So, plum bonsai, that's today. Fireworks show starts tomorrow at 7pm. I, uh, should have probably shown up to one of those this year, shouldn't I? Um, oops. Mate, there's always next year. <laughs> And yeah, pull on the flower. Yeah, taking care of the flowers is like the name of the game. Well, it isn't, but you know. I think I'm, I'm just so like used to it at this point. It's just how it is. Definitely have an episode where I like, do the coconut thing. Maybe I don't sell any coconuts and I just fish for 20 minutes. That, that'd be a very interesting kind of gimmick episode, but why are there so many weeds in like this particular corner of the map? Like I was I was running into like a couple over there, but this is, that, that was another level of uh, stuff. And we can't visit the roost immediately today. See, we, we're breaking the pattern up. So we're gonna go talk to Blabbers, have this fossil sussed, and uh, we'll get some money from selling the fossil, selling the coconuts, and then we will uh, we'll, we'll find something else to do. I ain't gonna go to the city because I can't. I don't. I normally only go. Oh my god, I forgot I had that many fossils. Oh, we're gonna be getting. Uh, I forgot about that, but I found like a bunch of fossils last time. Yeah, see. I have a feeling my, my fossil exhibit is pretty much almost done. No, I don't want to donate. Like, all well, that stuff's fine. Change our mind, did we? Like, I'm. Yeah, let's check out the fossil exhibit. No, who cares about being sidetracked? Like, if you come through here, the uh, fossils that are actually missing are like this this small thing. Like, there's actually like, a, from what I've already seen, there's like a decent amount of them that are missing and a decent amount that are complete. Like, I'm already seeing three that probably need finishing. But, like, it's like eh. Why, why, why does he, like, not get so little fossils? It's like, I don't think I've donated some fossils to him for at least, like, five weeks. I was like, well, it's like, surely random number generation, but at least given you, like, one by now. Mm. I was like, I went in there and I actually forgot about little variations that play when you go in different areas of the, uh, museum. Yeah. Anyway, um, still having a little walk on the whole, um, A Money Rock, and uh, I'm assuming it gets all the way down there now. And... B. Uh, yeah, filling up the museum. <laughs> like, I probably want to start filling it up with fish. I don't care so much for bugs. 
Except, unless it's like a tarantula and scorpion, and that weed was clips into the ground. Fish, I like, I like having a decent amount of fish in the exhibit, and you may be like, why is, why, why, why is, why is that, Mr. Nymeric? Um, basically, I just like the fish exhibit, it's kind of cool. Um, I know I don't visit it much, but it was like a really fun pastime of mine to like, watch those videos of people using like, wall clip things to clip into the fishing tanks, it like, it brings back my memory, and it's definitely like, the best looking exhibit in every single game it's in. It's just, oh no, the garden, no. Um, actually what I'll do is I'll sell these fossils and then I'll, uh, I'll get all the flowers, plant the garden and then we'll get to coconutting. Yeah, 10 minutes in though, we, we've just been like playing the casual game, I'm, I'm enjoying this, it's, it's a different type of game to what New Horizons is. Um, so he said he had a pawn bonsai, we already have one of those. So what I will do though, uh, visit the points, I am going to claim my three points. Very much like the daily login for the look miles things, but how much are these fossils going to give me? If they give me like under 15,000, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Um, classic carpet, I think. I'll grab that. Upright piano, that can go somewhere. How much is this going to sell for? Right. That's a good amount. That's like... That is a decent push towards the... Uh, like the final part. Um, for those of you who are like, I think 50,000 out of 200,000 um, towards the bridge right now, so like everything I can get could help. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take all the stuff and yeah, here we go. Yeah, you know, we, we gotta plant a little garden. I'm thinking maybe. And um, once we get the garden outside of Nooks, like a reasonable size, I'm thinking we build a little garden outside of like my own house. Just because, I mean, I can. You know, I think it'll look nice, it'll be, like, a nice little thing to do. You know, it just makes, like, the area look a little bit nicer. Very similar. Like, what I'm doing here, I, I basically did, like, point for point in New Horizons when the game first came out. Like, I'd go into the look shop, whatever flowers were there, I'd buy five of. Uh, cause they'll let you do that in that game. For those of you that, for some reason, haven't seen or played New Horizons, go check out my videos on it. Um, <laughs> I'll have to slide. But, um... Yeah, I basically did that like basically verbatim when uh, New Horizons came out to try and get the shop to upgrade. Anyway, I... Ah, okay. As I, was, I very much don't care... Oh, no. Right, I, ca I care about that though. Nunchuck disconnecting. Uh, we'll throw them over here. Just because there's another flower over here. Make it less lonely. The white rose. Yeah. I like how they're instantly grown in this one too. It gives like, the game something unique. Ah, here we go. Arguably the most fun or most annoying part, shaking all the trees and having to harvest them. Yeah, let, let's get let's get it though. I think we have this. We have this. The, the grass down here is definitely probably the most worn it is in the entire town. And we'll, uh, we'll check out how Sheffery and I believe Cuba doing. And then uh, yeah, we'll uh, see where we go from there. Um, what is? It, it looks like I've shaken these trees twice and all the other ones once, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a full inventory and then we'll uh, go check out how uh, we're shivering. Yeah, that's a bug I haven't caught yet. I, I know that for a fact. Um, maybe I will have something to donate to the museum when I go back. I caught a Jew beetle who's sparkly and if you're a grasshopper I haven't caught yet then... No, you're not jumping into the river on my watch. No, come on, get up, get over here! I know I started up fancy... Wait, hold on. Okay, I just had to check that I wasn't a fossil. Damn things laughing at me from in, within my pits. Oh, hey, hey, oh, look, look who that is. No, get your ass back in, no. Right. Fine. Um, okay, well, I believe this is the money rock. Yeah. See, we're, we're getting horrifically sidetracked, but that's kind of fun. Anyway, we should be good. Uh, maybe four money bags? Uh, can't win them all, but, like, the money we're going to be putting in that bank today is going to be something. Which is kind of good, because today is the last day of the month, so we should be getting interest, like, tomorrow. Um, anyway, we'll uh, sort this out, and we are... This is definitely going to be the weirdest episode in a while. Oh, and I... Okay, I forgot to plant, uh, one flower. I'm not sure how that skipped my mind, but... Uh, yeah, in you go. Say an art. Right, right, I can sell the invite card as well, but... Uh, what, what is going on with, like, as of late, with all the fossils? Like, okay... I'm in nunchuck seemingly. Again, I'm I'm using like known tricks to fix any <laughs> nunch. What is going on with this thing? It happens with every single nunchuck I've ever owned. It's like randomly decides to go off on its own, like randomly. Uh, I, I I'll take another fossil. Um, 
we'll have that success at the very end. It's probably going to slow down our whole uh, efforts on the uh, money scheme, but we'll, uh, we'll grab a few more of these bad boys and uh, we'll get to selling. It's been a very eventful uh, sell part, that for certain. Right, drop that. And how are you doing, Chevrolet? I saw they were over here. Can I, uh, can I get a Chevrolet? Is is Chevrolet still around? I don't care, but uh, plant that. And we'll have one more from over here. You know, did I maximize being efficient? And I always say it. Like, I won't say I'm like OCD, but I'm just obsessed with being efficient when it comes to YouTube. Like, if I'm rendering something in the background. I don't want to just be sitting around kind of scrolling through the same couple websites over and over and over. Like, it just, it, like, bugs me to no end when I do that, so I, like, I always, like, aim to, like, be going off maybe having a shower while it, while it renders something like that. And it's just, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's just something I picked up over time, and it's like, I, I kind of, I've just come to like it. It's like, you know, I might, I might as well be efficient with my time. You know, it's better than wasting it. And, uh, yeah. So selling that invite card and planting that flower should have increased the amount we can hold, though. Like, I swear, if this was a three coconut week, we'd be screwed. Um, and I, I like how I've got little names for, like, when this stuff happens as well. Um, really? We can't even get two of these things done. Right, you know, that's fine. We're getting, what, 3,500 per trip? I will happily learn to live with this, if needs be. Yeah. See, we leaving this, like, to the end is a... Uh... Yeah, it's this what made the episode a bit more interesting, throwing this in the middle. Like, what else is there to talk about while we, uh, leave stuff? We could probably make an extra thousand per trip if we ditched the, uh, jewel beetle on the fossil. And, I mean, like... No, we'll, we'll make it work. Wait, what are we on now? 15 minutes? 16? Alright. Fair enough. This episode is getting on. <laughs> uh, who knows? Maybe we'll end it in the roost. Haven't been to a KK Slider concert in one of these videos for a while, so there's that. And... That's it, so that makes, what, five? I, I, I lose count of how many I can carry and how many I'm carrying, but I think... Um, is that it? Hell yeah. Okay, I probably wasted more time checking that than if I just ran straight to the shop, but hey. You know, can't win them all. Just, just shh. Okay, just shh. Mm. Actually, one gripe I have for this game, though, is I know I tried to do this in a few episodes. It's kind of annoying that you can't make hybrids with um, anything besides a gold can. Oh, no, I don't want to catalog, no. Like, I don't know, it, it's always bugged me that, like, what's it called? But you can't make hybrids without having a golden can, because getting a perfect town in this game is hard, and then maintaining it for the week, two weeks that you need to for the can, is on another level. And it's just, I don't know, it always rubbed me the wrong way that that was, like, how it was handled. Like, if I had the silver can, which I believe can spawn randomly, then, like, it wouldn't be that much of a problem, because if you played every day, at least, like, I'd say there's a very high chance in, like, a year, or maybe if, even a couple months, you'd be able to, you know, get a nab of silver can, start making some hybrids, you know, or we'll do a little bit of online trading in 2008, you know, see how it is. And, you know, instead it's just kind of... I don't know. Yeah, I, it... Oh, God, so many we've got to pick up. Like, that's that's what, two, three more trips? Just, just, you know, get back to work. I don't even care about the gra- I just planted those. Oh, this- This episode went from okay to, like, I'm not sure if it's just me or the catch car, but, like, it, it seems that the audio's been a bit more stuttery than usual. I like the, uh, the HDMI cable I use, like, whenever it's plugged into the Wii U, it just decides that, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go on the bender. But, uh, yeah, I will sell that. And if, um, if I can't grab anything in the next two trips, I'm just gonna say screw it, save it for next week, you know? Because next week we'll be able to sell coconuts like that. Uh, and ideally, we wouldn't have two slots taking up space. Um, I swear if I've already donated a jewel beetle, but I've just forgotten, that would be the, probably the worst thing. Yeah, but no. Right. Anyway, I know I can carry specifically seven coconuts now. I know it did take me a while to catch on, but, uh, okay, yeah, so that's actually gonna line up perfectly. Gonna make 3,000 on the final sale, call it a day. Yeah. So I wish there was a way to stop Red from sending you invite cards. Like, I don't keep saying it, uh, some of you may wonder what that was. Um, I, chances are you seeing this, you're just like reflecting on times past, or maybe you're just looking at like old games because you've been introduced in like New Eve, New Horizons. Um, but basically the invite card is given to you every single time you visit Red's store. And um, it basically takes up a slot in your inventory with you like it or not. And like, I think the best way to avoid it is to have a full inventory going there, which can cause like a bunch of problems, but... 
Like, you want to be going in there with, like, one, one item slot, buying something and leaving. And it's like, because, I know, it didn't seem like a future-proofed idea. Because Wi-Fi's been shut off, that feature is now entirely useless and just serves to annoy you. Because, like, the game knows you have, didn't send it and just sold it to Nook. So it gives you another one to send to your friend over Wi-Fi. The problem is, is, um, at least the average player, who probably hasn't homebrewed their Wii, um, there is no way to send it to your friend. So you get rid of it because it's taking up a slot in your inventory. Just loops and loops. And basically, it's always going to be taking up a slot in your in inventory any time after you visit him. It's, it's just something that gripes me. I should really mention it in the review, but, like, it just hadn't happened to me all that much when I, like, made that, so... Yeah. Have to say, though, uh, we are getting on the longer side. I think this episode may be coming to 24 minutes, and I'm sorry that it took so long to sell the coconuts this week. But we are looking really good in terms of, like, profit margins. And we've still got another, like, coconut to sell, maybe a jewel beetle if it turns out that that thing was, like, you know, pranking me to next year. I ain't gonna deposit stuff just yet, but I, I definitely need to remember to do that, because uh, if I don't, I am missing out on, like, three bells. Like, I'm not sure how many bells it may be. Maybe, like, 20, maybe a couple thousand, but... It is what it is, and uh, we'll have success. That's why I feel like a city folk speedrun is skimming through Waz's dialogue at this point, especially because the episode's getting on. Uh, so of course, we, st we still gotta visit the roost. It's a, it's a weekly tradition. Uh -huh, fascinating, I have you now, Fossil. Okay, with a bit more money in the bank. Um, oh, not really, let's go. Um, yeah. He speaks so much, I can tell where he gets his name from now. Ah, uh, it's just... It's just the thing. Yeah. Type that so I don't forget to do that. Just pops in, Stuff randomly pops into my mind when I'm recording. It's like... Uh, you know... Why did you have to show up now? Show up in like five minutes when I'm not recording and I can actually do it. But, and then I have to like sussly make a note, but hey, if I directly mention it, I can turn it into whatever the hell I'm talking about now. And of course... We gotta sip the coffee. It's like, how many times have we drank coffee in this series now? It must be so many. Oh. Wait, are those people that actually speed from this game? Um, like, quickly too. I'm not talking like, oh, they pay off the first loan, or they pay off all the loans, she's a time travel thing. No, they 100% the game, which can be, uh... Like, if you, if you think of how much stuff there is in any Animal Crossing games to actually do... Um, like, the fact that people actively speed run that in such a short time as, like, you know, that, damn it, if that ain't commendable, I'm not sure what is, but, uh, mm, with that, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Obviously, we are gonna go off to Nook just right now, sell some stuff. We ain't gonna finish this one in our bed, I think. I, I'm not sure how we're gonna finish this one. Again, the time is really getting on. Like, I wish I didn't have to care about render times, and for the most part, I don't, but it's just... And it's hard to explain. Like, once the video passes a certain, like, point, it just... Of course, we've got to donate a stupid bug as well. Um, <laughs> once it passes a certain point, it's like, okay, who, how many people are gonna watch this because it's coming across as quite long? And then we inflect for two minutes because that's, like, how long a regular TV show is. If it's, like, half an hour TV show, you know, it's like, watching this is like watching something the same month as, like, an episode of Big Bang Theory. And it's okay to go over that time sometime, just to, like, you know, stretch a little bit, but... You know, I, I don't like to push, like, over that time limit all that much. But with that, um... I think the moment of truth is upon us. Deposits, and... Oh, there we go, that is... Almost halfway there. Yeah, that's right, we are almost halfway there to funding that first bridge. Um, I will need to refer to, like, a few cheat things, maybe. I want to donate it all in one more, like, lump sum. Um, just, just I think that'd be cool. I think maybe, like, in the episode where I finally donate, uh, all the money, I might, like, hop on the next day and then, like, choose where the bridge is gonna be. And then the episode after that is gonna be, like, the whole bridge fiasco. Not fiasco, just, like, it's gonna be centered around the bridge. Um, there's many places in this town which could do with an extra bridge. Um, uh, but with that, I'm gonna donate this jewel beetle. And let's see, was it worth taking one extra slot in my inventory? What, have I just completed the whole museum without my own knowledge? You wish to know anything else? Nope. Is that so until next time then? Yes!
Until next time. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a thumbs up, post your subscribe, turn notifications, leave a comment down below. This is the first video on like 40 episodes where I'm not ending it by going to sleep. But with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching guys. My spinner, I make a peace. Out.